Alright guys, I'm going to start off the video messing with your head, so check this out. I want you guys to tell me in the comments what you hear. This is actually going to mess with your head. Okay, ready for it? You will only hear the word you are reading. Get ready for it. You will only hear the word you are reading. You will only hear the word you are reading. So, what are you guys hearing? The word you are reading. Okay, that still messes with my head. So what did you guys hear? Tell me in the comments. Is your head exploding? Come on. Those are the old tires. So they're changing our tires today. And I have no idea how they do this. I think they're using the truck to lift it up. Yep, that's it. You ready? Those are new ones. Is that cool? Tire? Those are tires. You can make a tire swing at them. And that's the axle. So interesting. The thing holding it up, buddy, is called a jack. Right, I'll be back. Remember what that is? Thank you so much. I'm going to quiz you later. You. Okay? We're going to let them work now, okay? Let them go work. Just those things I thought. I said, now That is a truck. Oh. That's the truck. And it holds up the, the bus. Yeah, I've been to buy a plane. That is not an airplane. Oh, that is an airplane. Do you want to go on the airplane? Yeah. You see those kids right over there? Plane. They're playing on a tire. So that's like a tire swing. Yeah. We're going to go on the airplane that you're not going to use. We're not going to use it. I already know it. You want to go up there? Let's have a little conversation with them. Come on, Remy. Obviously, you guys see that our RV is currently getting new tires. It's like I told you yesterday, it's kind of like a precaution situation. They don't necessarily need them. They're still in good shape, but they're close to the five year mark. So rather than, because they're in the front, so rather than you know risking anything, we're just kind of, right, exactly. We're just kind of being smart and preemptive with everything. So where are we gonna go today? Yeah. Where are we going? Yes. <laughs> yes? We're going to the Tetons. Yeah. You know what we're gonna meet up with? You know who we're going to meet up with? You want something to drink? We're going to meet up with the Jergies and their kids. And then you got to play with some kids. And then in Glacier, we're going to meet up with some other people who have kids. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go hang out. But once they's finished, then we can do it, okay? So that's our day. We've been waiting for that. Uh, we are supposed to do it yesterday, but thankfully we're getting it done, period. So as long as we get it done, will totally feel safer. Like I said, not not to say that they weren't safe before, it's just they're coming up through the you years. Play? You wanna play? Yes! Okay, high five. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go play. I love little wisp. This guy works fast. He's already got two tires on and he's just getting finishing up the mountain. We're gonna get there uh, with time to spare. This is awesome. Look at that little sandstorm right there. Second off, we need a new plan, Alex. It's like our bad luck is stemming from this little thing. We're gonna get like a bonsai tree or something. Or cactus. They're, those don't ever die. I've had that tour guide since we like moved in the house. How we killed it? Well, maybe not that long. You can probably bring it back to life. This is scary. And I don't like it at all. So we have the new tires on. The wind is now kicking up. However, we are going to make it safely and on time. So it's going to be great. And then tomorrow kicks off the place that Allie wanted to go pretty much since five years now. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. It's, we're calling this, uh, we should just call this the Misadventure Tour. The Misadventures of the Trees. The Misadventure 2021. Not to say it's gonna be an annual thing, but this, we're just gonna date it. Ooh, this wind is crazy. And it's down already. We're not quite sure. We've been driving. We're trying to get out of Utah. It's kind of hard to tell on the, like, the camera, but it looks like this might be smoke from the fires, maybe? I'm not quite sure, or it could be just like fog and haze and smoke up here. Either way, it's very eerie and ominous. Flaming Gorge, that's where they told us to go. We are currently now at a Walgreens parking lot. I actually had to get a refill of my medicine, and believe it or not, we had to drive two and a half hours, luckily it was on the way, in order for me to actually get it. Apparently it's like, and it was so windy, it took us three and a half hours to get what would be normally two and a half hours. So we're letting the 
the RV cool down. We're kind of feeding all the dogs. Remy's getting uh, uh, a little break. She's running around like a crazy person, growling like dinosaurs. It was probably a horrible idea to take her to see dinosaurs. Like I said, we're just taking a little break. Then we're probably going to get there around like 4 a.m. Then we got to wake up early because we missed our, um, our rental car. And we have to get up at like 6 a.m. to go get that. So it's going to be fun. This is These are the curveballs from traveling place to place. That's why we've been like lengthening our stay versus last time we would be like two places two places two nights two nights two nights i think tetons and glacier are going to be our longest i think tetons are the longest which is tetons and the yellowstone and then i think i'm going to extend glacier a little bit more because i've always wanted to go there and i always always wanted to go there anyone else ever heard about the uh, fruity pebble beach just found out because uh, remy was looking through reels and it came up and i was like that's really cool where is it oh glacier cool so we're gonna go see that hopefully anyway so I'm going to have to help keep Allie up and uh, rejuvenated because we're going through mountains and that's always something that you need to uh, be rejuvenated. So I think we uh, took a two hour break right now. So I think we're good. We're good to go. Whoa, we got a show too? Blippi, yeah. Whoa, that's cool. Do you see a fire truck? Remy loves fire trucks. It was out there, huh? I wonder why they're doing fireworks. A fire truck. A fire truck. She points out the book that I've been reading her. So I think she wants to go water. No, she's going to. Oh, what are you watching? You're watching Nemo? Yeah. Yeah. You see the fireworks? Is that cool? Wow. Ah, wow, what are those bubbles? Those are called fireworks. Is that cool? Wow. All I see is the side of your face right now. Look at that, that's so creepy. How cool, bubbles. That's cool. Fireworks. Still driving. Anyone know the Nine Inch uh, Nails album, Lost Highway? Who else thinks think this looks like it? Oh, there's Zoe, she thinks so too. We're staying at the visitor center, or parked in the visitor. Look at the fog, okay? The first thing I want to show you, the second thing I wanted to show you was this. Over there. <laughs> and the third thing I want to show you. Oh, that's a beautiful photo. Look at that. How cold it is. And when we woke up in the RV, thank God, Chewie helped us get the heater. And we joked about it. We're like, oh, we're not going to need the heater where we're going. When we woke up inside this RV, I'm not even kidding, it was 55 degrees. With an RV, it either comes, becomes a hot box or a, fri a freezer. So it either becomes a sauna or a freezer. There's, if you have the AC going, there's a nice in-between. During the day, it's going to be beautiful. But during the morning, waking up like this... So Allie and I are both are just standing by the vents while Remy is nice and cozy in the warmth. Yeah, it's a little and, oh, we had a little bit of a blood. we had a little bit of a deer situation last night too, where a little baby, a little baby fawn jumped out in front of Allie. Pitch black. He pitched black, and luckily she didn't hit it, but it was pretty close to everything, and she slammed on the brakes. By the way, this RV's got amazing, amazing brakes, but we had a casualty. Apparently this RV trip, we just cannot keep plants. We are optimistic, but it's just not happening. Also, I only brought one hoodie. I mean, it's an awesome hoodie, but only one hoodie. So I get to bring my tourist hat right over there, and I got to get a tourist hoodie and jacket. I'm just going to go straight up, and then I'm going to put like little, the green, whatever this called, um, zinc on my nose i'm just going i'm just going to own it that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to own it right now got the tires done got a late start it's freezing it was windy oh that was the other thing by the way there are gusts of winds yeah the, the, during the uh, the daytime in the mountains there was gusts of like 20 or 30 miles an hour i'm not even kidding it was like alley's probably biceps are better than doing curls we were doing that We've gone through windy situations yeah. before, but it's That was like really cold. cold. I went to go pick up a medication, and uh, they didn't have the right quantity at first, 
so they had to go do that. So that was another little situation. This is this is all okay. So this is what I'm saying. This is the misadventure uh, trip, which is cool because I like because we're taking it in stride. So that was taken care of, and it was windy, like insanely windy. Like there was a flag, and it was going back and forth. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. It's time we came out, we fed Remy, fed the dogs, kind of fed ourselves, just let the wind die down, and probably. 15 minutes after doing that, it was going or like that. Like it just completely died down. It was totally fine. Allie's driving for a while. And then this silly little fawn, deer in the headlights, comes right, I mean, right there where that line is. That second line right there. Like maybe that third one, but right there. And uh, luckily, Allie's quick quick skills was a basically avoided it the whole situation because that would not have been cool if we uh, uh hit something like that so almost hit a deer but we didn't so thank god <laughs> <laughs>